Hi everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So it's been a long time since we've done a memory decks card, so I'm going to do one using this gorgeous Ulta New Kit. So let's go ahead and get to it. All right, so I wanted to use this gorgeous spring, not spring garden, seasonal blooms stamp set that I got the other week in my Dawn Hall. But I didn't want to make a card because I've made a lot of cards recently so I thought you know what I haven't done I haven't made a memory decks card in a really long time so let's play with this instead so we're gonna start with the stencils oh I love this is gonna be so much fun because it's gonna be so easy um actually we are gonna start with the stencil but we're gonna stamp then stencil oh couldn't find my trimmer so I'm just going to cut this down to an A5 size. Whoops. We're going to get the misty out. I'm just going to put this in here and then get that stamp out. And then we're going to be able to see it and we can put it back in the misty if we need to afterwards. So what I love about this is that it's one huge stamp. One huge stamp. Oh. I don't know if it's just me, but there's something about photopolymer stamps that I just love the smell. Oh, I could just sit here and smell it all day. I won't because that's weird, but I could. All right, so I'm going to put this down onto my piece of paper and then we'll just stamp this down. I'm just going to use my Hero Arts ink, but you could use any black ink here. You could even not use black. You could use, you could use a no line coloring ink, which would look absolutely stunning. Oh, I should have done that. Anyway, too late now. And it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to come back in over the top afterwards anyway. So it's all good. So I'll just give this a bit of a rub. And as long as I leave it in here, whoops, every time, um, I'll be able to put it straight back in the same spot afterwards. So I'm going to bring my station in just to hold this down while I do all of the stenciling. So the cool thing about this set is it comes with this four piece, I think it's four, it's either four or three, three piece stencil set. So this does all the the insides and the um, and the leaves and then these do the two layers of of the flowers. So all you do is line it up, it's so easy to line up. Go. You can use my magnets to hold this still. And then we can go ahead and put some colours on here. So I'm going to do, I'm going to grab my masking tape. This is actually transfer tape, but I find it's a really good masking off tape as well. And because I have so much of it, I'm actually fine with that. So I'm just going to mask off anything that's not the sunflower because I just want to make sure that I just get the other bits first. Okay, there we go. Now I come in with a little bit of fossilized amber. That can be my first color. So, straight over the top. And I'm not gonna pick this stencil up at any point because I want you guys to see how great this looks afterwards. So you can be really messy. You're just putting that color down. And I'm gonna come over this side as well. And then if you do wanna add just a little bit of dimension to it, which I do, it's also gonna grab a little bit of carved pumpkin. No, spice marmalade just to add a little bit of dimension to it. So I'm just putting this right in the little corners of it and then I'll blend it out afterwards. Okay, and then we can take this tape off, well not off off, but a little bit off because I still need to keep the little flowers. We do the same thing with the pink on the, tu pink on the tulips. Do pink on the tulips because I want to do Let's do purple on the tulips 
and then I'm going to do a little bit of blue on the other little flowers. Really, 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 really want to use my new Villainous Potion, but I feel like it's too dark. I feel like it's too dark. Let's have some fun with it anyway. So I'm going in with my Milled Lavender first. I want my small little brushes guys so I can get into these teeny tiny little stencils. I love that gradient, that's actually really pretty. All right, and then we'll come in with a little bit of blue for these little flowers. salvage patina it's not really blue it's a, it is a little but it's not blue blue and I'm actually gonna grab these are the little eye crafter brushes that I got I haven't used I've used one of them but I haven't used both of them so I'm just gonna use this little little one just to get a just a little bit of blue right in the middle It's so good. All right, I'm going to go ahead really quick and do the other stencil. The other one that's a part of this pair is just the other sort of petals that we didn't do the first time. I'm going to do them the exact same way I did these ones. So there's not going to be any difference to them. It's just going to be a slightly different set of colours. Well, different layer of colours. So I'm going to go ahead and do that really fast and I'll be right back. absolute favorite things about distress oxide is that if you feel like you put too much color especially with like something like a yellow you really can pull it oh, sorry not a yellow an orange you really can pull it back with just a little bit of a, like another layer on top I love it all right you ready <sighs> okay and now's the fun part because now we get to put the greens and the centers and stuff in so I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna do this really fast but I'm going to do, I'm going to be a little bit selective with the way I do this because I really want the greens to be in the greens and I really want the, I'm going to put browns in the middle. So I'm going to put a little bit of gathered twigs, probably the wrong kind of brown, but I'll put that for the center of the sunflower. So I don't need to mask anything off for this one. I actually might put another color in here as well. And I'm just using the little eye crafter brush because it gets right in there. Yeah, it's a little bit of something extra dark. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of ground espresso in there as well. I'm gonna bring in a little bit of pink for the middle of these. Now I don't have any more of these brushes. This is all I've got. But I do have a couple of these ones which aren't quite small enough, but they'll do. I'm going to grab a little bit of tattered rose for the middle of the little flowers, like the blue ones. A little bit of 
of tape just to protect the little pink centers. So I don't want them getting any color. Now the hard part about that is that one of them happens to be at the bottom of a stem. So I'm just going to cut off a tinsy bit and hope that it works. Washi tape would have actually been really good here. It's not doing a very good job of sticking. I think that's just the tape. So for the green, could go mowed lawn. I think that's the, the obvious colour. But I think I'm going to go bundled sage, which is a little bit more pastel. And then maybe put just a little bit of either rustic wilderness or peeled paint on top. up and see what we got. Ooh, that's really pretty. That's really pretty. I love, I love the purple. The purple is just lovely and I do like the green. The green did work. All right, so now that we've got that done, we're going to go back in and re-stamp this because we've got it in the same spot in the misty. It'll be a flat Put it in the same spot and it'll stamp in the right place, I hope. I'm actually going to come back in over the top with my Versafine ink. It's a much, much crisper ink, but it does have a tendency to bleed if you're playing with colourings. So this will give me a really crisp stamp over the top, I hope. Or it'll ruin the whole thing, one or the other. Praying to the stamp gods. Trust the tools, trust the tools. Ah, it's perfect. Yay. All right, I am going to give that a second to dry though, because that heat set, that, um, that ink does take a little bit. I'm gonna just use that time to clean my stencils off. You should clean your stencils as soon as you finish with them. Uh, when you've got oxide, it's you're not quite so rushed because it stays wet for a bit longer. A little bit of water, if you can't get something off, that'll work fine. Just be careful not to pull up any of the pieces. All right, while that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and make the base for my card. So I'm just grabbing one of my old memory decks cards just got the little drawer sitting down next to me just so I can just mark out the size more than anything else so I'll just here-ish doesn't have to be perfect and my they're always different sizes and shapes so it doesn't really matter to me too much I'm gonna leave the top bit but I'm just gonna cut it to the right width and then when we put this other bit on in a second it's obviously gonna be a bit skinnier, but I might be able to squish it together to kind of get something else. I think I want to put some some splotchiness, not splotchiness, that's not the right word, um, some water, do like a watercolory kind of background on here. So, move all this stuff off. I've been watching lots of YouTube lately, and whenever I see them do splotchies, I always see them use, um, like a piece of packaging as opposed to using my glass mat. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to put a little bit of, I, I want a blue-ish sky, blue-ish sky. I always go tumble glass, it's so boring. Let's put a bit of stormy sky for something a bit different. So, all over the place. Get our little water sprayer. I can be a bit more, I think the idea with this is you can be a bit more precise about where you put things. Okay, just 
moving that well out of the way so I don't accidentally get it wet or dirty. I'm just going to give that a quick zap with the heat tool and we'll come in for another layer. I'm just using plain cardstock here. I'm not using a watercolour paper. I find I get really nice results without using a watercolour paper, but if you feel like you need it, it can give different results. I'm just going to sit this underneath my misty because my misty is heavy and may help sit that get that flat it may not but it might try so I'm going to grab the die that goes with this I'm going to use it to cut this out so it cuts it all out in one big piece which is just different but very cool and then we can start working it out on the background and if we're going to do anything else with it set also did come with an embossing folder but obviously for this one I'm gonna leave that out but that would look really cool too I think what we're gonna have to do is mount this up on a mount this up on a another piece of cardstock just to flatten it out Bang. but before I do that I'm just gonna go around and cut off this have it cut off a little bit lower and I'm going to cut the shape out so that I can sort of cover these up together I think I kind of have to because otherwise it's not going to fit oh, and unfortunately I've already done it so just trimming a little bit off that side let's see if I can get the whole shape on there no it won't work it's too I could, but I'd have to cut off way too much of the flower and I don't want to. Although, you know what? You really can't tell. Even though I have got it, it's, it's, I can tell that there's a big bit missing. You really can't tell from the front. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim this corner. It's going to be a bit of a funny shape, but I'm just trying to hide it behind the flower. And I'm just thinking, it's got this awesome quote in here. It's one of my favourites. It's the one that says you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. And I'm just thinking if I put this in the middle here. I don't know when I did that. I've got a fingerprint. We might be okay. It's still... No, that's making it worse. Okay. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Why did I play with Versamark? Versa, fine. Grr. And I was about to play with it again, but now I'm not going to. I'm going to stamp this down, and then I can work the shape out around it afterwards. Damn, I'm really annoyed because that was perfect and I don't quite know where I got my finger in it. When I watch this video back, I'm going to find it and I'm going to be peed. Anyway, anyway, so I'm just stamping that down. There's a smudge there too, but it's all right. It'll be fine. It'll all be fine. It doesn't always have to be everything perfect. I'd like it to be, but it doesn't have to be. All right, this is what I'm going to do to try and fix this because it is really bothering me. But if I cut this, 
just trying not to smudge the other bit. If I put a pencil mark here and here, and I cut this down, I may get away with it, but you won't notice it as much. Just trying to heat set that so that it doesn't go everywhere. So put a bunch of glue. I'm making it reasonably flat because it is a it is a memory deck card. It's not a big card, so it doesn't have to have dimension. I'm gonna put this exactly where I want it. Doesn't matter if it's not perfectly straight, because we're gonna make it perfectly straight. Okay, then I'll go around and cut off the excess. Hopefully there's no more smudges. So we need to punch the holes and then to finish it off, I'm just going to put a couple of little gemstones on it because I think that'll really make it pop. There's a lot of layers of cardboard here. There it is. Like sometimes you've got to really push. So these are the clear gemstones from um, paper rose. So I'm just going to put some glue down. Whoops, too much glue. Way too much glue. I'm still learning with gemstones as in where to put them, but I'm trying. Couldn't find my pickup tool, but there it is. messed it up but I think I've I think I've fixed it enough that it's okay I don't know I'm still I love the background the background worked out exactly the way I wanted it to maybe my colors weren't so great on that blue though so that purple does now look a little bit dull I love the villainous potion into shaded lilac that I like that's a not shaded lilac middle lavender that's a great color combo I cannot wait to use that a bit more but there we go first memory decks card I've made in quite a while um, I haven't stopped making them on purpose I just haven't had enough time so it was nice to get back to doing these again if you do prefer or do like to see the memory decks cards please let me know you can leave me a comment down below or of course you can find me on my socials and I can try and put them into the mix a little bit more often if you did like it give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel I have a lot of other memory decks cards that you can check out as well I hope you guys have an absolutely awesome awesome day and a great weekend and I'll catch you again in my next video sending lots of huggles bye